Hello and welcome to the local file inclusion basics on TryHackMe. I already started the machine so we can get right into it. The machine takes around 1 to 2 minutes to, to start. So let's wait a little bit more and look at the stuff we have here. In this first part we don't really have a lot of questions. We have only two questions but we have more like of an explanation. What is a LFI, uh, LFI local file inclusion? Some some stuff that we need to use and so on let's check if the server is up up and if we can do this okay it's up so the first part is they want from us to to use the question mark page equals question mark page equals when we do that nothing happens the next they they want from us so that we use home dot html and we get the answer to question four Let's see the next part is that uh, they want from us to change a, uh, to a different di directory this one the etc password we delete the home.php and go to the password directory so we can e see easier what's going on view source and it's LFI. LFI is the answer to the sixth question. They want from us what user that it's not by default there is present. So they made it obvious that it's LFI. Next step is on the second question. We need to change directories. They want from us to find the, the answer to to this question number four the easiest way is directly to, to put the question up here wait i i want to delete this so do you see directly on the first link and you get the answer they didn't want that to to be done like that they want you to use this stuff so you can move a directory up so they wanted you to do it like this we're gonna go back to the first page and go to the second link because if we do this on the second link page equals wait I didn't add the question mark where's my question mark yeah okay page equals credit card it's not gonna work they want you to use this so you move a directory up because the credit card file is in the same directory as the first uh, first uh, file next step this is already done let's go to the third part here we need to use burp why burp because we need to catch uh, to modify a package first they want us to go to the access log see let's get the, the it's in the var log apache 2 access log they ask us can you read the log but if you put this here it will not work you need to go to the second link the first link or the third link because the third link and the four uh, first link are basically the same but let's do it like they want to do it page page and let's put the f uh, access login you see again a lot of stuff view source these are the access logs what we did on the server like uh, th basically what's going on what site we visited and so on now we need to use burp why burp we will see why we need burp for this i need to yeah okay we need to start it and we need to refresh the page when we refresh the page we get this the package we need to delete delete this part instead of that we are add a php tag and the, the function system and in the system we need to add our get 
uh, request get get the get request we're gonna call like they want us to call it LFI this and we we added this to the to the to the package and we're gonna send it this to with uh, forward the request okay you, you are, if you don't know what's going on now we don't need an uh, burp suite anymore we gonna do it like this if we use because of the get request we add we need to add the LFI equals if nothing is there nothing happens but if we not we add LS we gonna see the files that are on the server because we added uh, the possibility to use comments on the server so you have the, the files that are in the directory where we are at uh, credit card home html lfi.php the next step is let's see the question first you can you read the log of course we are in the access log and this is the access log look without this enter access log fi with the ls command yes we modified the the burp request the site request and the next star is unnamed error this was our i didn't know what exactly they want to uh, i i needed to to look for i did the unnamed r command and when you do it it's easier to spot now because uh, because you saw what the, the answer is but basically they show you one star dot two stars dot and 12 stars and i was like where can you where can i see like one star like something one letter the, or one number and but this is the combination you are looking for the 4.15.0 uh, minus 72 to minus gen generic paste it in correct answer of course <laughs> the next next part is how do we uh, escalate this how do we get to to another level not escalate but how do we get in so you can try out comments that are on the server I know for a fact that this one it's gonna show us like we get uh, uh, that it's on the server installed and we can use it something else curl curl dot or curl h is not installed so you cannot use it next step is you need to get a PHP reverse shell I used a PHP reverse shell but you can use something different Oh, it is not. I need this. And let's split it in half. This is Terminator terminal. Now we need to start a server. Now uh, when we start like Python M simple HTTP server. 8000 is the port number okay we started a server ah sorry but the problem is i didn't start it in the right direction i need to go to the desktop desktop because there is where i i have now my php reverse shell let's start the server again server is up and i'll net get to listen to a port the port is in the I'm gonna show you one moment I'm gonna show you the 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 reverse shell so you know you have two st two files that you need to to change you see these two parts sorry my PC is slow because this is a virtual uh, machine I'm running on you need to set this to your default your tunnel IP address that you get from the from the try hacking site and this is the port you want to uh, listen on so 
you can download this easy from 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 the internet i'm gonna put a link down in the description where you can download the reverse shells let's make this bigger okay okay we don't need this big we need this small and we need this a little bit bigger so we see what's going on so we're gonna use this command we get and we're gonna put the http and or tunnel ip address and the port of course where our server is running on then we're gonna add the name of the file the php reverse shell in this case that we're gonna use and because the server is on the desktop we have it right here on the server we need only to add php shell dot php now when i put i press enter it should register on the server you see now it's on the server next step is i'm lucky if this is work working from directly without any complications uh, we need to type this in php shell dot php dot php not dot php and we got the reverse shell see we are in now we're gonna need to go to home uh, sorry i'm gonna make it this like this cd home ls cat not cat yeah. cd lfi and you have the flag or cat where do we flag dot txt my microphone is in the way that's i type like that and here is the flag you copy it and paste it in and basically you are done with the site you can you can check if you uploaded the script the the easy way like i'm gonna do it with this and instead of oops too many lfi oops this way and i'm gonna add ls so view source this one see the php so you see if the php shell is ls and you see it's uploaded with the credit card home.html lfi php php shell php and you're done it's really fun and you learn a lot a lot with this one thank you for watching watching and have fun